All right, so we got the shed delivered and now it's time to start working on the inside. But I did add a few ridge cap shingles to the very top up there because they had some missing from a windstorm. So that was job number one. So you can see I started to lay out the subfloor on this end. I still have to put up insulation and do some spray foam insulation for some of the corners and transitions. There's a little loft for storage. So you can see on this back wall, they used to have a workbench. So I took the workbench out, disassembled it, and was able to salvage some of the wood that's up against that wall over there. And also what we're using for some of the subfloor that's already laid out over here. I did have to order some more two by fours, some plywood, and we are waiting on a whole skid of plywood um, for the walls and the ceiling as well. So I'm gonna be using safe and sound insulation from Rockwool and also quite a few other things to help with the sound damping in here, which I'll go over as I'm doing them. But, Got to get started, time to get to work. And I'm really excited about getting this thing set up so I can start jamming. And I'll do what I can to document the whole thing so you guys can enjoy it with me. Um, but yeah, day one starting the build. Let's go. Oh, so it saw me up close? Yeah, but I can edit it out. Oh. It's not like that has to go. Everything that you film has to be online. You can't edit or chop any of it. No matter what you look like or say. Yes, huh? So, as you can see, I got the spray foam on all the corners. And now I'm putting in some of the rock wool insulation to kind of show what it's going to look like for the end product before we put up the boards on the wall. So this whole thing is going to have this rock wool soundproof, fireproof, Hoping that it helps with the sound. <laughs> 